this is our bumblebee. We have a construction paper bumblebee, a felt bumblebee, and a styrofoam pom-pom bumblebee. This first one, you take a piece of yellow paper, fold it in half, then you're going to cut almost a circle, except for the one end instead of coming around. Again, just find something like this that you can trace, uh, like a paper plate or a, a lid, and trace it. And then instead of making a circle all the way around, come down to a point, almost like a football, and that gives you the shape. Cut this out. And that will give you your body. There's your body for your bumblebee. And there's the point, like the stinger part. Okay, and then that will be this part right here. And just take your black marker, draw some strips across, and then color them in. Color them in black. We'll give you your stripes for your bee, and you probably are going to do that better than that. This is just to show you how you get the body part. Okay, that's your body part, which is right here. Now this part, the wings, are just, I took my hand and I traced my hand. The children can trace their hands. The thumbs are down this time, and this one, I traced my hand again, and stuck it on the back like this, just over, overlapped it a bit. And this part is just a circle with the googly eyes and some antennae. They can make it out of paper, or they can make it with pipe cleaners, or they can make the antennae um, with whatever they have. They want to use felt, whatever you've got. And then the googly eyes. And there's your construction paper, bumblebee. Okay. Now, this is a styrofoam bumblebee. Now you've taken your styrofoam and you cut off the end. So you make it flat so it'll fit instead of roll. And you cut off the top part. So you're going to cut off that section and that section. So here and here. Then you take your black pom-pom and you glue it on. Now with this one, the children made these. They glued a wax paper wing, they just cut like a leaf, and it looks like a wing out of wax paper, and they glued it on first, and then they put the pom-pom pom -pom on. This one, they put the pom-pom on, and then they glued the, wing, uh, the wings up here. So they're almost like ears, and note this is, the pointy end is glued there, so that's what I mean. The children put it together however they like, and it's beautiful. doesn't matter what it looks like. It's great. And then the googly eyes. And then they take a black Q-tip or a black paintbrush and make a stripe around the body for the bumblebee stripe. Like that. Now, it's a bit messy. I added my own black marker here to give you a better idea of what it looks like. Now this little guy, he has the wings in the middle part and he has some antennae on. Now we didn't get to the stripes for the body for this one, but that's what the uh, styrofoam looks like when you cut it and you paint it yellow before you put on the black stripes. So that's our little styrofoam bumblebees. And this one, Actually, this is part of a costume, but I think that you could probably make it. It seems very simple. Um, these, this part is like the icicles you get from a Christmas tree. These you can buy in the dollar store, and I think it's foil that's wrapped around it. It's just a piece of doweling with foil wrapped around here. And then the wing part is just almost... like a shoe print. If you look at it, it looks like a footprint. But it's it's glitter. And it's decorated with little glitter like a tree. 
And then this part here, that's just a piece of wire, or you could use a pipe cleaner, and then a pom-pom on the end of it. And this is just a piece of felt that they've cut. They've colored this, they haven't cut it. They, you cut it, probably. If it were me and my, my group, I would have this cut in advance, this cut in advance and I'd let them do the rest of it. And then they can color like a black strip with their marker here and then put two dots for eyes. And then they have their bumblebee wand, which they would just love and have a ball with for the day. Next we have our spiders coming right out.